Hello friends, welcome again on the freeproject.com and this is my new project called as information system and I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL and the version is I am using the PHP version 7 and the MySQL version 5.6 so you can set up this project easily on the XAMPP server and your web server you can run this project on your Linux system as well as the MacBook Mac system and uh, for front end part I have used the HTML, CSS and JavaScript this is a very basic project and this is a single user role based system project right means there is only a single role that is admin uh, and admin will be able to manage all of the things so let's start with the functionality description so as i already told you this is the basic html csa java script php and mysql project and this is the home page of the project you can see and you can change the content of the home page from here and this is the about us page so you can also change the content of the about us from here and the all colleges so this is information about the colleges uh, and this this is a totally dynamic page and all con and the content of this page is coming directly from the database so if you want to add more colleges then add as an admin login admin will be add any number of colleges from the database and uh, and the user as a normal user uh, uh the user will be able to see the details of that colleges right so currently there are five colleges available here but if you want to add more then just log in as an admin and you can add any number of colleges from the admin panel right so once you click on the college and then after that the college details will be displayed here and you can change this data uh, directly from the database uh, or from after logging the login as an admin so you can also modify the details from the admin panel so this is the login page this is also dynamic this is also a dynamic page and the credential the credentials are getting checked and verified from the database directly if you enter the wrong credentials then it, you will not be able to log inside the system so if i enter anything wrong then i will not be able to log inside the system and this is the contact us page so this is a totally a static page i have i am not saving the content of this contact us page anywhere in the database so once i click on the login then if i am logging with the current user id and password then after login admin will be able to see the dashboard right so this is the dashboard and admin can perform these operations so admin will be able to add colleges admin will be able to see the college reports or admin will be uh, see the listing of the colleges etc right and the same thing uh, and the same menus is available in the above menu bar one more thing i want to show you so as you can see that the above menu bar has been changed because i am logged inside and uh, inside the system as a login uh, sorry as an admin so once i click on the logout the above menu has been changed because the session has been gone and after that this menu is only rendering the anonymous user uh, menu so this is a totally session based menu and once i click on the login again then you can see the uh, you can see the menu has been changed <clears throat> okay so i am going uh, on the add college page then you can see this is a big form and uh, admin can uh, add uh, the details of the colleges from here right so this is the college name college type email facility courses placement companies about colleges college phone city state college address pin code image etc but if i go on the college report then i will, as an admin i will be able to see the list of all colleges and i have rights to edit and delete the records of that colleges so if i click on the edit record then then that record will be that college record will be open in uh, in edit form and once i click on the submit then the record will be submitted and the database will be updated in the database and if i click on the delete then that college will be permanently delete from the database also this is a data table and you can sort it and you can search the bca then all the colleges which has a bca course will be displayed suppose if i am searching only the uh, i think there is scl whose placement is scl so there are two placement companies uh, two place and colleges where scl is working so this is scl also if i remove this this is a totally runtime searching also you can set the preference that how many records you want to display here then those records will be displayed here 
right so this is the uh, dynamic table and this is a totally dynamic right and the data of these tables are coming directly from the database once one more thing i want to show you right so once you click on that edit then these drop down menus values are coming from the database means there is no need to if you want to add more value here then there is no need to play with the codes just add that uh, data and add the data into that table and that data will be rendered here right again this is the college listing which i have showed you uh, displayed you earlier and once i click on that then it will be displayed here the data of the that college will be displayed here again this is the my account section from where the admin will be able to update his account details and the change password so admin will be able to change the password of his account from this form and once i click on the login log out then the session will be destroyed and none of the internal page will be accessed you can see the above menu has been changed and none of the link is displaying okay so once you click on the login again then above menu is coming and if you click on logout then the above menu is gone through right so this is all about of my project and this is a micro project and you can learn a lot from this project that how can we make the database connection from the project how can we integrate the html css javascript and jquery inside the system inside the php how can we create the database connection how can we perform the create read update and delete operation in the project so you can learn these things from this project and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest project and technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much